Hi there, students. Here we have an essay. It's actually a letter. Um, so this is at level C2 for the um, Cambridge proficiency. OK, so an international newspaper is inviting readers to contribute letters on the topic of speakers who have inspired them. You decide to write a letter about a speaker you heard recently. You should explain what was particularly inspiring about this speaker and assess the value of listening to inspirational speakers in general. Answer by Vyacheslav. So, here we go. Dear Sir or Madam, okay, that's a good start. <coughs> Recently, I have come upon your invitation to the readership to share their thoughts and experiences on the topic of inspirational speakers. To my judgment, such activists are essential for society as they are perfect at encouraging people and disseminating uh, information among crowds. Moreover, I have a personal example of how beneficial these speakers can be. So, recently I've come upon... Yes, I guess you could use a present perfect here. I think personally I would just say recently I came upon your... So, your invitation to the readership to share their thoughts and experiences. So your invitation, I'm going to take out this word readership. Uh, I came upon your invitation to share thoughts and experiences on the topic of inspirational speakers. I think it reads better like that I, because it's very clear that your invitation is to um, the, the the readership. So, to my judgment, I, to, in my in my opinion, it sounds better. In my in my judgment, such activists are essential for society, as they are perfect at encouraging and disseminating information among crowds. Okay, so, are they activists and are they perfect, um, are really my two questions. Such activists, such... Mm, such speakers, they might well be activists, yeah, because they're inspiring people to do something. Mm. Such activists are essential for society as they are perfect so are they perfect you see I don't think perfect is a, such a good word as they are um, unparalleled at encouraging people okay they're so they are I'm gonna put unparalleled at, at, in, at encouraging people and disseminating information among crowds they're unparalleled at they're unparalleled in that will do Moreover, I have a personal example of how beneficial these speakers can be. Okay, this is a pretty good first first paragraph. It, it's not bad. Um, with this again, be careful n not to include um, obvious or over obvious information. 
I like the idea that you're um, establishing the uh, what this essay is going to be, and I think that that's very very good. But don't go too far with it. Firstly, I think it is worth mentioning um, that I belong to a cohort of people who are constantly self-improving. A cohort of people. I think I'm just going to lose the of people. I'm going to belong to a cohort who are constantly self-improving. I think it is worth mentioning. I think it worth mentioning. I think it is worth mentioning. I'm going to leave the is. This means that I digest a lot of information on this topic from various sources. So, are you saying that I digest a lot of information on all topics, or, you see, if it's on this topic, this means I have digested a lot of information on this specific topic, or I digest a lot of information uh, from various sources um, that I digest, that... Um, I digest a lot of information on various topics, on multiple topics, but so that I have digested a lot of a vast quantity, reads better than a lot, uh, of information on this topic from various sources such as books and different media platforms. A few weeks ago I was scrolling through YouTube when I stumbled across Elon Musk's new video in which he was talking about spacefaring and new planet exploration. So, new planet exploration. I think I would probably say an exploration. Whoops. An exploration of new planets. I, I don't think that's a serious mistake at all. Mars, in particular. Uh, when I stumbled across Elon Musk's new video in which he was talking about spacefaring and and exploration of new planets and I think I'm going to put a the exploration the exploration of new planets okay I've got one problem with spacefaring let's see seafaring is an adjective yeah he was talking about spacefaring uh, spacefaring technology um, I like this word spacefaring I think it's really good but he was talking about noun he was talking about adjective he was talking about it needs to be a noun about Spacefaring technology, spacefaring techniques, spacefaring rockets. I'm going to put rockets. And the exploration of new planets, Mars in particular. Spacefaring craft. From the very first second, he gripped my attention with his stirring speech. From the very first second, he gripped my attention. So, 
I'm going to say my attention. was gripped by his stirring speech. It sounds more natural. Even though I had I had never had an interest, so any interest in rockets and astronauts. Even though I had never had any interest in rockets and astronauts his message resonated with me and by the end of the video I already dreamed about visiting Mars I dreamed about I would probably say I dreamed of I'm not sure about is wrong so hadn't I listened so this um uh, apostrophe this uh, contraction don't use contractions in uh, essays yeah I really re I do not recommend using it also notice in this case um, had I not listened in with this if you're using the negative you can't use the um, contraction because the not is important yeah and uh, if you're using it as a contraction you're saying it's unimportant so had I not so you need to use not firstly because you don't use contractions in essays and secondly you use not because you don't use contractions in this had I not yeah had I not listened to him on that day okay I would I would I would I wouldn't I would not have become so interested in space exploration okay so don't use contractions in these throughout human hi history okay so yeah you've you've jumped Okay, it would be nice if there was some sort of link between these two, but it, it's a paragraph and a change, I guess. Throughout human history, there have been plenty of talented speakers who could catch listeners' attention and make them do what they wanted. So, them do what they wanted. Mm, it's not completely clear. Yes, I understand that the, the talented speaker is ma is making th these people do so, and and make them and make them do what the speaker wanted and manipulate them. into doing the speaker's bidding that reads quite nicely the unfortunate case in point is Adolf Hitler who honed his oratorical orational oratorical skill okay so he honed it to to hone to the highest standard so who honed his or to the highest standard and managed to hypnotize a whole nation with propaganda with propaganda I think I'm going to say with his propaganda. We can see that this powerful ability can be used not only with good intentions. The unfortunate case in point is Adolf Hitler who honed his oratorical skill. I'm going to make that plural skills to the highest standard and managed to um, hypnotize a whole nation with his propaganda so 
So let's link this to this sentence. Let's put a semicolon through this we can see that this powerful ability can be used not only with good intentions through lose this and through this example we can see that this powerful ability we don't need the can we see it's clear Through the, and through this example, it is clear that this powerful ability, this powerful skill, um, can be used not only with good intentions. However, So, let's give, give it more contrast. On the other hand, inspirational speakers may help other people, may help to move mountains, may help to move mountains, because their speech is a great source of motivation. To conclude, as with many things in the world, oops, uh, in the world, in this world, in this world, the abilities of skilled orators can be used for either good or for bad. Having said that, I hope there will be more speakers like Elon Musk popularizing science and inspiring others to improve. Others to improve, okay, but let's see. Inspiring improvement in others. An inspiring improvement in others. Yours faithfully, Vyacheslav. Okay, the original was 320 words. Let's see what I've actually done to it. And count the words. 323. Okay, that's that. That's pretty good. Yeah, where I've I've gone three words over, but I think, don't think three words is a problem. Okay, so time to mark. Marking time. Um, let's see. Content. You've completed the task well. You've met all the criteria. So let's see. Um, a speaker you've recently heard. Yep, you should explain what was inspiring. And you should access the, the value in general. Very definitely. Yeah, the, I think you've answered the, the question very well. I think I, I would give you a four for that. Communicative achievement. The right style regi and register for the genre. Yeah, I think the, the style and register is, is, quite, is quite good. Um, does it effectively hold the the reader's attention mm, yeah yes um i think i'd probably want to give it a 3.5 3 or 4 um i think i'm going to give it 
Um, communicative achievement three. Organization. The writing is coherently organized. The focus and prioritization of ideas is logical and ordered, and the ideas are clearly connected. Yes, um, I think could 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 be better. I think uh, probably three in that. Um, then language. There's a good range of vocabulary and grammar. Yes, there's a you're you're using various different types of sentence. Um, these are used accurately. Yes, there are some mistakes, but. Um, it, 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 it's easy for easy to um, understand. Um, I think probably three out of five. I'm three, three point five, three. Okay, so what would I say overall? I think probably something like a C plus. I, I think it, it, it's it, it's not not a bad essay at all. There's certainly nothing wrong with it. So good work and well done. Enough. If you enjoyed the video, um, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. Bye for now. Um, a letter for CPE, letter to a newspaper.